this is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. In 1965, the Cunard Steamship Company celebrated the 125th anniversary of its North Atlantic service, which reached its climax with the Queen Elizabeth and the Queen Mary. But the pattern of transatlantic travel has been changing. The big jets had reduced flying time to seven hours. Cunard therefore had to make a complete reappraisal of the ocean-going liner. They announced their decision at the end of 1964, a new Cunarder designed to fulfill a new demand. In the summer of 65, at John Brown's yard on Clydebank, the keel of the new Cunarder was laid. Nine hundred and sixty feet long, the new Cunardo will carry as many passengers as the Queen's for only half the consumption of fuel. Economy is a priority in the new concept. Since last year, she's been steadily taking shape, becoming more and more like a great liner. These pictures were taken in September. difference from previous Cunarders is that she's the first large liner ever built in Britain to capture the cream of Atlantic travel in summer as well as the cream of the cruising market in the winter, a luxurious antidote to the hurly-burly of the jet age. This month a party of MPs visited the ship to get a first-hand impression. She'll operate far more efficiently than previous Queens and offer far better facilities for cruising. Spacious, uncluttered decks, the largest Lido afloat. In fact, she's designed to anticipate a demand well beyond the 1970s. As yet, it's hard to visualize her as a graceful ocean greyhound. Hard to imagine the chatter of the passengers and all those smoke room stories. But gradually, emerging like a moth from its chrysalis, the new queen is taking her place in a proud succession.